What's going down? Your boy DJ Black Mark Shay Diddy. Welcome to another episode of the Street Life Series. And today we got a very, very special guest, Messy Motherfucking Mark. What's up, bro? What's happening? Bro, we are so happy to have you back in the studio. Thank you, You bro. don't even know. People have been wondering, where the hell is Mess for years? You know, I just knocked out three. Three where at? Uh, Texas, Hutchins, Huntsville, Michael, Gurney. Man, they, they sent me around the world, man, uh, fucking around with that chain gang, but just knocked out three, man. Um, and, and it feel good to be free, my nigga. I'm home, man. See, so what you got coming up? What you got planned right now? Because I know you... Itching to get back into the studio, get everything popping. Like, man, what's the plan? Um, I've been home a little over 30 days. You know what I'm saying? Um, as soon as I touch down, um, T Fats, success, you know, with the success label. You know what I'm saying? Um, Prezi now. You know what I'm saying? Big shout to Frizz, nigga, Frisco, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got that ball from Fast Man. We sit down with Burner. You know I'm saying? Me, me, him, and my really, my family, man, Fatty Yeti, man. Uh, Say stunner, man. We all sit down, man. And, and Bernard said, "Fuck it." You know what I'm saying, mm. I, I, I want to fuck with you like this, man. You feel me? I, I told the nigga, "Shit, nigga, you gonna count the money? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna put it on? You wanna put it on a video, nigga?" Bernard said, "Hell nah, nigga. I don't wanna count none of." So I did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they go to Instagram videos. They go to media. You know the the um the viral um. $200,000 viral gig, man, that just jumped off online, man, with me counting the two. Um, Burner, you know what I'm saying, threw on the table for me, man. Um, really don't want me to speak too much on the deal. Just told me to say this. Um, you know, we ain't got no problems around here, man. Right. Me? Don't want to get nobody none, man. Don't want none. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Burn one ENT cash out records. Um, he mentioned, you know, to me to, to, to say this. Um, uh, Mess and Quinn. It'll be the first release, me and San Quinn. Wait a minute, what? what? Yeah, he, yeah, he, he might have pushed everything back to release that 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 first. So he mentioned, he, he told me to mention that and, and to just keep it right there until we schedule. Just as far as the deal, yeah, I, you know, I talk low as fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just as far as the deal, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Um, just just mention to me to 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 tell y'all, man, everything's solid. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't worry about shit. And the first thing we're going to release on Burn One um, ENT is is Mess and San Quinn, man. Okay. That's, that's big news. Yeah, you got to fill us in on that because, you know, from my recollection, y'all didn't have the best relationship before you went down. Like, coming up, I know y'all two was kind of like the heart of the city at one point. You know what I'm saying? Like, for sure. And yeah. then y'all fell off, which was kind of threw me off. And now to hear, you know, you fresh home and you finna do an album with bruh, it's like, man, how did that happen? Did he reach out to you? You reach out to him? Politics is going to be politics at the end of the day, my nigga. Um, yeah. You know, um, I, I'm back and forth, man. I fuck around with this interstate a lot. You know, I just, my both my, my cases, just I just uh, come home from, I, I got indicted on, on trafficking on, in Georgia and in Texas. So, wow. um, I'm you know, I, I fuck around, man. Yeah. You know, and Quinn fuck around how he fuck around, man. So, um. You know, just politics with, 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 with this up the way, uh, Central and, 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 and Eddie Block, you know, um, uh, a mishap, man, you know. Yeah. We've been running, you know, running into, man, for, for some years now, man. Shout out to, to every, you know, um, one of my, my niggas, you know, that fell victim to, to this up the way beef, you know what I'm saying? But me and, me and Blood, you know, always had our, our differences, man. You know, either it was Quinn way raw and mess a, a, a mess way raw and queen but it was just a separation you know within the people you know what i'm saying that just wanted didn't want to see us together anyway so that was the beef right there man people in queen here just telling queen he was more of you know what i'm saying though yeah, yeah, yeah. just in substance so you know here we are here now man you know burn one ent man messing saying queen you know what i'm saying supposed to move for i don't know what burn got planned like i said <laughs> We ain't scheduled, but we scheduling. We scheduling now. Shout out Quinn, nigga. Man, if you got to do explosive more four for me. That's gonna be some shit right there. Like that's a classic series, so you got to name it that. That's my request. That sound big, man. You know, <laughs> that sound huge, that nigga. bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at that nigga, man. San Francisco. I ain't never stop yelling San Francisco, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ever. I will never ever stop, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Diddy, man. So have you ever stopped yelling Filmo? 
never, ever, 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 and, and, and ever, ever. And, 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 and based on my Damu politics, you know, it never stopped there either. Right, so right. I, I, I still I, I still was outside, man, around there, man, doing, you know, and representing and carrying myself as a man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, love, peace, uh, trust, uh, truth, freedom, justice, man. You know, trust, <laughs> whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, yep, that five, man, all day long, man. And, and you know, that's what, I, that's what I press, man. That's what I've been pressing with, man. So, um. You know, just as far as my, my field mode uh, 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 politics up the way, man, on my block, you know what I'm saying? My name has been in a lot of bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Including, you know, um, some of my loved ones that, that didn't, didn't, didn't fell victim, you know, to the, to the, to the chopper, man, to, yeah. you know, to, and, and it's fucked up, but. You know, other way around, you know, who's to say somebody wouldn't be sitting up here saying the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So right, right. it's me. So, you know, um, there there it is. I mean, there that, that's my film on politics right there, man. My name just being in a lot of bullshit, man. And um, you know, just just misunderstood until a nigga run up on me, man, and ask me how I feel. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's been like that uh, since the beginning. You know what I'm saying? If you can't pull up and find me outside, you you pull up and, and find me a jingle spot, nigga. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga? You know what I'm saying, though? It's yeah. a dope spot, man. So, you know, other than that, man, um, it's it's been Phil Moe. It's been Frisco. It's going to stay that, man. It's going to stay West Coast. But I've been all over the motherfucking world, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Representing this, this bitty, man. You feel me? Well, since you've been out for 30 days, and I see you've been making major moves, we both excited about this album that you and Quinn about to do. Have you and Quinn actually had, like, a sit-down, like, a conversation, broke bread, anything like that since you've been out? Um, My man... Doc Hicks from Detroit uh, did, a, did an interview, you know what I'm saying, um, while I was sitting in them cell blocks and, 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 and interview Quinn, too, as well. And, 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 and the feedback, I mean, the interviews were, were, were mostly about, you know what I'm saying, how I felt, you know, about him saying something in, in, in his interview about how he, you know, he, he wanted to, 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 to mention, man, the shit that he said wasn't about nothing, man. Let's squash it. Let's do this. Let's move forward. The shit that we've been doing for the last 10 years, being family, man, bumping heads. You feel what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. you know, other than that, man, there it is. Um, no, we haven't actually sat down and talked about a motherfucking thing. But <laughs> it's good people like Burner, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, right. Fats and, you know, people and men of substance, man, that can, and, that can bum together and come together and say, um, you know, this need to happen. Yeah. Y'all put y'all pride to the side, man. You know what I'm saying? And make it happen. Shout out to Chris Fex too, man. You know what I'm saying? F O Y all up. Beep. <laughs> I've been cussing this whole motherfucking interview. I know. So why you beeping out now? I'm just saying though. No, I feel you. I mean it, it this seemed like a new mess, man. Like Yeah. You know, so you squashing pretty much all the previous beefs you had within the Bay Area, because before you left, it seemed like everybody was kinda like having a problem. Or, you know, what not with Messy Marvin. To me personally, I couldn't figure out why. I'm like, I don't know what's going on between everybody, but like so you changing and you squashing all that shit like this this a whole new mess we finna see. Um, you know, I missed the controversy himself. Right. It wasn't a nigga that couldn't that could say anything about the Bay Area. Um and 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 and, and it goes to, you know, um, the OB Trice uh situation, you know, so on and so forth, man, just me being forefront of San Francisco right. and representing this Bay Area, man, um, it wasn't a, uh, uh, nothing a nigga could ever say, you know what I'm saying, about the San Francisco Bay Area, man. But, you know, this new mess, man, it's just a new lane. Thank God for DJ Amen. Thank God for 106, Cam, Yale, Vine, all the shit, man. There's seven years of a new bay force-feeding, you know, the people this new bay created this new lane, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? The young T.O.s, the HBKs, the Sues, the, the uh, Cool Johns, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um, Sages, you know what I'm saying? Showy Bangers, um, all, all the all the young life, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Um, knew me definitely. This is a designer, uh, <laughs> killer, uh, you know what I'm saying? World, man, Frisco world, man, and I'm here first in this lane with these young niggas, man. So definitely a new me, um, definitely um, a, 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 a different me. Yeah. I say new and different is two different things, meaning a new me meaning in image, but a different me meaning in content. I, I, I've been in my in my spirit a lot lately, man, just, you know what I'm saying, on, over these beats, no pen. You feel what I'm saying? Just like you know, raw rap. You been freestyling? No just, pen? Just raw rap, though. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, on me, though. So um, definitely a new me, definitely a different me. Definitely going to jump here first with this old school bay in this new school lane. Man, and and want to shout out, you know what I'm saying, amen, you know what I'm saying, and all y'all for, for making it possible for a nigga to say 24 years. Man. That's crazy. <laughs> so with the new bay, who you plan on working with? Like, no, who are you, who you got your eye on? I've been listening to Young T.O. all motherfucking day long. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. On my mama mixtape? Um, Is that I'm, album On My Mama? That's I'm it? not sure, man. My my brother say, man, play this shit all day long, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but definitely fucking with, what, what is it, S-O-B? Yeah, R-B-E. S-O-B-R-B-E, them young niggas, though. You know what I'm hmm. saying? Uh, 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 Yace, um, Yada, uh, uh, them Sunnydale boys, um, Prezi, HP boys, you feel what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, feel Mo, man, Shoy Banger, man. You know what I'm saying? Them boys, uh, little Lil, Lil Yee, uh, Scooty G, them little son, man. I forget blood name, man. He got a high one, too. I was fucking with, man. Um, but yeah, all them young niggas, man, if, if we can all bump to the table, man, I ain't mad. You feel what I'm saying? Other than that, I'm finna jump in this lane, though, man. Y'all fuck with me. Oh, yeah, we we always fuck with mess, man. That's why I was kind of like, you know, when you, you know, you went on a hiatus, it was like, damn, like, I felt like the streets was missing something. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, thank God. Like, the streets was missing something. And I couldn't really figure out what it was until, you know, you came home and I was like, that's what it was. Did you ever hear people comparing you to Mozzie? All the time. <laughs> How did you feel about that? Did you ever link up with Mozzie? Did you have any conversations with him? Um, you know what? I never got a chance to talk to Mozzie. At the time, me and Filthy Rich had our, our, our disagreement. You feel me about whatever? And it's been going on since the last seven years or whatever. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And we finally came to some terms or whatever about whatever through whoever. You feel what I'm saying? Though? Yeah. So at the end of the day, there, there that is. You know, so we ain't got to get too much into that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There, that is too. But I never got a chance to talk, you know what I'm saying, to speak with blood because of those politics right there. But, mm. you know what I'm saying, it was some shit about, you know what I'm saying, a nigga, I had left a chain at Highline for like, Two years or some shit. <laughs> the shit was it was so cloudy, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? I I was I didn't never go pick the motherfucker <laughs> up. So it was just like a publicity stunt. Blood that pulled, and I I, I had been Mozzie with the chain on half. You know, saying a few niggas rocking the chain, just discrediting my name. You mm. know, based around filthy going going to buy a chain, a mock a chain, or whatever it was. I, the, nobody never took nothing from me. You feel what I'm saying? But I, I had been, oh, I had seen blood with, with the chain on, though. Like, yeah. so they was campaigning. It was like just this mess. You know what I'm saying? I hate mess campaign. I don't know. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I didn't see the 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 heart symbol with the I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I didn't see the heart emoji around none of these niggas' tweets, blood. That's crazy. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, it, it had to be the I hate mess campaign, man. You know what I'm saying? But uh, um, nevertheless... I, you know what I'm saying? I, I love to work with June. You know what I'm saying? Um, Mozzie and, um, you know, me and Filthy did the Neighborhood Superstar album. Right. The nigga, you know what I'm saying, got a lot of street recognition off of that that first, you know, Mess and Filthy album. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why he paid me to do it, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what he wanted to accomplish. Just like everything else, all, everything that man then accomplished within these last seven years, man, which are a hell, a hell of a, you know, of accomplishments. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Hella, hell, hell, hell of a, hell of goals, though, that, that, that the man did, man. I, you know what I'm saying? I love to work with, with that nigga, too, man. You feel what I'm saying? Even though, you know, but these are my thoughts. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what's going to happen, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm not that prideful, man. You know what I'm saying? I watch these niggas come up, you know what I'm saying, and use me in a positive way, nigga, and use me because they needed that street recommendation and they paid me for it. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. You know, I, I feel great, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, to, 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 to be um, um, looked at as, you know, Mozzie sounds like mess. Yeah. It makes me feel good, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? He might hate it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, it, it makes me feel good at the end of the day, nigga. So what would it take for you oh, and Filthy to get in the studio together? Um, Nooch. Uh, my my nigga Noose from Sack put everything together. Filthy Filthy called me. 
You know what I'm saying? Nooch put it together. He gave me about 15000 or twenty or something like that. And, you know what I'm saying, I did the album. Right. So for do another one, the same situation got to happen? Like somebody got to put money in your pocket? Like I know, you know, everything you do, you're going to get paid to do. But just for the culture, once you get together and just do it with Filthy, just, you know, to show everybody, like, ain't no hard feelings. We went through what we went through, but it's bigger than that. No. <laughs> I need my money. Like, I nope. would have did it the first time. Yeah. Right. I get you. And he he and he he would have said the same motherfucking thing. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm not saying like you know that's what he wants. I was just asking because I'm like, y'all need to, you know, bring this shit together, man. Like I said, the babe's missing something, and you may be that missing link. I just feel like you and Mozzie on a track together because he does sound. He reminds me of you. Would be crazy. That'd be a crazy collaboration. It'd take it back to like an explosive mode. You know what I mean? Just because y'all have similar energies in your delivery. But the man has metaphors, man. Right. Right. You know, and, and, and um, when I listen to Mozzie, I, I don't hear me. Okay. When I listen to Mozzie, you know, I think about Mozzie generation. You know what I'm saying? It's just a. It was just one generation after mine. He right next to my generation. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't hear. I don't hear Mozzie in me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And everybody s- says that, you know, about Mozzie, but, you know, that man c- has his own lane. Like I said, I feel I feel G as fuck, you know what I'm saying, to hear that. But, you know, blood blood is, is, is metaphorically inclined with this street shit, you feel me? And I just dropped them lugs, and that might have have um, familiarized me and, 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 and homeboy. You feel what I'm saying? So since Good. you've been out for the last thirty days, have you had a chance to actually like lay down some tracks and put out some new music yet? Um, I just shot a video a couple of days ago, maybe like three or four days ago. Um, they speaking on my name. We counting down now about fifteen day, fifteen more days before before we release the video. Um, shot by Stewie Films. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm out in the city, man. I'm talking to cash shit, man. I'm talking to cash shit, man. Uh, it's a series of five videos, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. Oh, shit. Just some exclusive shit, some YouTube shit, some visual shit you'll never find nowhere else but on YouTube. Then I'm going to get into the album. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the first video off the album. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably, which is, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? The record you sent me? That's a Sachi bag. You feel what I'm saying? Um, volume one and two, either you at the table or you're on the menu. Uh, cash out workers <laughs> burn one ENT. Cash Lord mess, messy more, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I got to ask you but this I'm question. Shay. I'm working, Shay. I'm just making sure because, you know, working. I heard you was out. I was like, oh, is he back in the studio, though? Definitely. That's all I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I got to ask you this, man. I know people want to know. What happened in Reno? Reno. Um, I didn't think that was really you. <laughs> like, it was it, it was controversy around there. Like, is that really mess? It happened so fast. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even believe it. Right. To tell you the truth. And that was that was the first L I ever ate to date, man. You know what I'm saying? Just as far as public, you know. Right, right, right. In the media. That was like the Tyson and Holyfield fight, nigga. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, nah, like she said, a lot of people didn't believe it was you. Eight L's, my nigga. Right. But that was like one of them L's, my nigga. I'm just like, okay. Show it was a show. Um, hooked up with a nigga on, you know, on Twitter, you know, um, bring him with me on tour. You can open up for the whole tour. I'm moving away from the mic and shit. But you can open up for the whole tour. You know what I'm saying? Come with me. It's good. I'm going to pay for everything, all this shit. Yeah. The first date was the Reno date. The club got shot up before I could perform. Yeah. Oh, shit. So it was like. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I don't even have to show up. You niggas pay me already anyway. Right, right. Excuse me. But that's in contract. You know what I'm saying? With dealing with promoters, you know, they know you sick. Something happened at the club before, you know what I'm saying? Before you can go on, it, it ain't no other way that I could have performed. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you owe me. You know what I'm saying? Or I, I got paid and, you know, we're going to work it out. However, you know what I'm saying? However, you know what I'm saying? But um, the club got shot up. Um, and, and, and all I can remember is opening the door. Huh. I got a, I got a phone call. Bro, they, they just shot the club up. You know what I'm saying? It's over. I'm like, oh, all right, bet. Hmm. It's like 12 midnight. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? Club open till like 2. It's like 12.30 or something. Club gets shut up like 12, 12.30. You know what I'm saying? And then um, all I could remember was hearing a knock at the door and opening up the door. And the rest was, you know what I'm saying, was Tyson and Holyfield, man. Right. Wow. 101. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what that was about? It was just random? Um, no, I know it wasn't random, but like you have no idea what that was about. It was. It it definitely was random. I mean, I, it definitely wasn't random. Right, right, it right. It definitely was meant. You know what I'm saying? But I, it definitely, it wasn't about me not performing or not wanting to perform. Or, I didn't heard all kind of rumors. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. but but it was about you know me, um, uh, blatant. I mean, just being blatantly forward. Me opening the door and five niggas jumping me, pulling out a gun. You know what I'm saying, and 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 and, and doing what you know niggas do that that's in that line of work. Right, right. I, I I've been in that line of work. Right. So I accepted it like you know, and took it like that. You know what I'm saying, but that's what happened. It, it was nothing, nothing else. You know what I'm saying. Nothing else that tra- that could have transpired. That you know what I'm saying. That incident. Right. It, it just happened. Well, that's relief. That's crazy. That'll make yeah. you move differently though. Not trust niggas around you. I because. went by myself. This was the first date. You was by yourself. I went by myself. I got on a plane by myself. That's crazy. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know, right. just, I, I met a couple of people down there, whatever, man, you know, that I fucked with. But I basically jumped on that bird, man, and, 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 and went by myself, man, that first date and, and got fucked up, fucking around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's, that's, that, that's history, man. It's history. Yeah, I mean, you back though. You you put it through. You know what I'm saying? You pulled through it. So, I've never seen the media fight back World Star and everybody else. You know what I'm saying? After that shit, I never seen so much love and support after that shit happened. Right. Huh? People was reaching out saying, "Oh, this, all that." You know what I'm saying? Um, it made me feel. It inspired me. You know. You know what I mean? Um, just let me know why I'm why I'm so passionate about coming back and doing this shit now. Right. One love, man. All you motherfuckers, though. <laughs> man. On me, though. You got any uh, to, uh shows lined up yet? Um, I said I was gonna start touring once I got, once I gave the people what they've been dying to see for the last twenty years, a uh, messy more visual. I got about five videos in twenty three years of some shit, mm-hmm. some ridiculous ass shit. But but on uh, you know on the other side of that. Um, the World Wide Web, you know what I'm saying, 1993, the web hit the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's been 20 some odd years since the web been on, you know what I'm saying, since online, been online. And since 95, you know, the kids been uploading my music with still images. <laughs> you know, so I haven't had a chance to start a YouTube page, a Twitter page. I, I, I joined that shit. I joined Twitter, you know, in, in the so I got a social gig in 2009 or something. 10. It's only been yeah. seven years. I've been gone three, so I've been online five years or some shit. Right. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, there you have it there, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So all your, but you able to travel and shit, right? Like all your court cases and everything pending is done. I'm maxed out. I ain't on no probation, no parole, none of that shit. I told the district attorney and the prosecutor, I'm not taking none of that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might as well drive me out, and they did. That was. I was looking at 17 years in Georgia, on, you know what I'm saying, on trial, man. 17, two God. Two years before I took any time near. I did a year in Texas before I took any time near, man. So, you know what I'm saying, um, you niggas, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. So you back in full effect. On me. What's the What's going to be the title of your album? Either you at the table or you on the menu. Classic mess line. Right? <laughs> man, we appreciate you joining us, bro. It's some real shit, man. Appreciate like we couldn't wait to do this. Couldn't wait to do this. How could they? How could the people find you on all social media platforms? Cash Lord Mess at Cash Lord Mess. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, my Facebook uh, official Messy Marv. You know what I'm saying? You can find my fan page there too. The official Messy Marv, man. Well, there you have it, your boy DJ Black Mark Shay Diddy with the boy boy Mess. Thank y'all for tuning in. Oh, we sure. out.